The public hearing on the budget for the city of, Fis city of Wooddale for fiscal year 2021 to order. Roll call, please. Alderman Names. Here. Alderman Catalano. Here. Alderman Curielli. Here. Alderman Jacob. Here. Alderman Messina. Here. Alderman Sorrentino. Here. Alderman Sosmarski. Here. Alderman Woods. Here. Mayor, please. Here. We begin tonight with a public hearing on the fiscal year 2022-2023 budget in accordance with Illinois law. The notice of this public hearing was printed in the Daily Herald newspaper. The purpose of this hearing is to give the public the opportunity to provide input on the proposed city budget for the fiscal year beginning May 1st, 2022 and ending April 30th, 2023. Staff will summarize the major provisions in the budget followed with, by with public comment. Mr. Wilson, please provide a summary of the budget. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, so I have a few slides here for us this evening, uh, very similar to what we've done in years past. I'll get through them uh, as quickly as I can while still covering the salient points. Uh, some important dates, uh, as you may, uh, as you're all aware, uh, the draft budget was sent out on February 11th to the council. The committee meeting was February 24th. The notice of the of this meeting, as the mayor stated, was put in the Daily Herald on March 16th, and we are here tonight on April 7th for the public hearing. Uh, overview, uh, budgeted surplus in the general fund, budgeted surplus in the water sewer fund at a depreciation, no reduction in current service levels, net increase of one full-time employee, and then program vehicle replacements, uh, totaling 12, and there's a breakdown of those replacements. Uh, this year, there were four expanded level items that were manager recommended. There were no not recommended items. Those four items were the new employee IT technician, new employee administrative sergeant, new employee additional CSO for property maintenance, and an expansion of the city-owned landscaping program uh, to include some areas that needed some more attention. Uh, just some numbers here on the tax rate and the EAV. You can see over the previous uh, three calendar years, the EAV is starting to go back up, which is a good thing. Property values are appreciating again, which is good for everybody. Uh, the sales tax rate for the city's combined 8%. It's been that way uh, for a while now, but just like to present that and what the breakdown is. Sometimes there's some confusion on who gets what percentage of that 8%, and so um, that's there for everybody to see. Uh, major revenues, go through these quickly, as you can see them on the screen. But sales tax is just under 25% of the general fund revenue. Property tax, just over 20%. Income tax, just shy of 11. Licenses and permits, in total, is about 10%. In the capital projects fund, exclusive of grants and other funding sources, non-home rule sales tax is about 77%. Uh, utility tax is about 23%. We say exclusive of grants and other sources because this year, um, you know, with the transportation grant we're getting uh, for $3 million, it would really skew the, the numbers. So we try to keep it as apples to apples for a year over year comparison as we can. And then in the water and sewer fund, uh, about 93.5% of the revenues from there are user fees. The other things, such as cell towers, um, constitute the other 6.5%. Capital outlay. This year's uh, CIP calls for $26.7 million in capital outlay. About 13.5 million of that is related to the new public works facility. Uh, previous budget year was about 16.4 million. So if you kind of take out the public works building, we're <coughs> around 13 and change this year, which is fairly similar to what it's been in previous years. So we're, we're keeping up the pace uh, with the capital. And then the police pension fund, the increase has been consistent with previous years. And we continue to fund 100% of the actuary request per the city's funding policy for the police pension fund. Adjustments to the budget the night of the budget uh, committee meeting, there were none. Uh, bottom line, high level, the general fund began and ended, again with no adjustments, with a budgeted surplus, budgeted increase of just over $1.1 million. As you may recall, uh, over 900000 of that was ARPA funding, which is one time, which is why we um, are showing that large increase without the ARPA funding, just kind of the normal ongoing structural operations, uh, the budget would be about 180000 
Uh, we are still over the 50% required fund balance per the city's fund balance policy. And we will submit for the GFOA budget award again. We have received it for the past 13 years, so we have no reason to believe we would not receive it for the 14th year. With that, I uh, thank you for your time, and I'll take any questions um, if there are any. Thank you. Anyone interested in addressing the city council regarding the budget may do so at this time. Please approach the podium, take your name, and be sworn in for the record. being no public comment. City Council will now vote on the fiscal budget tonight upon adoption and execution of the ordinance. The city manager will publish the final version of the budget and place it on file in the city clerk's office and on the city's website. I will now entertain a motion to close the public hearing on the budget. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The public hearing is now adjourned. All right, now we will call the city council meeting to order. Roll call, please. Alderman Ames. Here. Alderman Catalano. Here. Alderman Curielli. Here. Alderman Jacob. Here. Alderman Messina. Here. Alderman Sorrentino. Here. Alderman Sismarski. Here. Alderman Woods. Here. Mayor, please. Here, declare a quorum present. Please stand and join the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. March 17, 2022. I'll make that motion. Second. Any comments, corrections, questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that passes. Uh, I'm not ready to communicate. We have uh, one citizen who would like to speak. Ms. Gill, if you could uh, please go to the podium. Good evening, everybody. I live at 174 Murray Drive in Waddell, Illinois. Chief, is that right? oh, yes. and the reason why I'm here, I have a few issues, really. First one is flooding in the backyard. My neighbor is doing something. I don't know if he got a permit or not, but my wa uh, the backyard is like a swamp. This is the worst I've ever seen it. I know he's digging holes back there, he's making like a canal, but they have to do something. Something's wrong. Because it took two days for the sub pump to kick off. It just kept running and running. And it's still like a swamp out there. This has been brought to your attention one time before, and I'm very, very angry. Something has to be done. It's going to ruin the foundation. And that's, he's putting soil, keeps putting more soil and everything. His land looks dry. And I, I looked, it's like a swamp. So when he was digging, did you call the city and? I don't see him doing it, okay? But he's been cutting by the bottom of his trees. One of them died, it turned brown. I know he's digging something under there. I don't see him doing it, but I did see the canal. And then he put a bunch of like big stone, pebble uh, stones in there. Mr. Bond? Yeah, I, next time or if you see the, some activity, notify the city right away. The city has certain uh, police powers, but those police powers are limited uh, to, you know, when they can go on private property and when they cannot. So if you see something going on, there's uh, either- Well, I do have some pictures from last year. Okay. Um, it shows that he, because I made a complaint, and he, he did something because he had his drains facing our property. Not only facing, he had one underground on my property. And then he's seen that uh, Public Works came out, and like within a week he did it on his own. I don't know if he got a permit to do anything, but you know, something has to be done. 
this is this is terrible. Yeah, and by law, they are required to discharge any of their water has to stay on their own property. You can't discharge it on an. Well, I don't know what he's doing. Well, you need to notify it, it, you have the city can't just go on and start going on private property. Well, without, they could come on my property and I could point out what he did. Then I think you should contact the city tomorrow and, and I uh, did. Somebody did come out. Oh, okay. A public works and a police officer first. And then um, I got the paperwork over there. But anyways, I'm very angry. Something has to be done. This is going to be very costly to me if something's not done. What did, what did the city say? Okay. Well, I have another question too. Christmas lighting, is that supposed to come down after Christmas? I mean, I see people, there's like two buildings, they got Christmas lights out. They don't put them on, but it doesn't look good. Is there an ordinance for that? Yeah, unfortunately, the First Amendment allows you to celebrate uh, those holidays year-round if you so choose, so the city's limited in its enforcement power with respect to that. Oh, really? Hmm. Something else? Another item? I there can't. is something else. I Go can't ahead. think right at the moment what it is. Okay, that, that's it. Thank you. Mayor. Thank you. Hey, Mayor. Could we be able to ask the resident if she's on the west or east side of Murray? I'm pretty yep, sure she's we, on the north We have, the, ad north we have the address. Okay. The address. Got the address. Oh. Right. Are there any other citizens who wish to address the council? Okay. Next, Mayor's report. We have one item. The city held its annual vehicle sticker artwork contest and accepted submissions through February 24th. We received multiple entrants. The entries were judged by the city council and the winning creation was made by Natalia Medina Aguilar, a third grade Wooddale student. She, was, she won the $100 Target gift card and the honor of seeing her work on the 2022-2023 sticker. Second place winner was Chloe was, goes to Chloe, age eight. Third place award goes to Faith, age 10. And they each receive $50 cards. I would like to ask Natalia to the podium. You come over here. Here's a plaque on behalf of the entire city council. For your, thank you for entering the contest and thank you for a beautiful job. It's gonna be on everybody's car this, this year. Yeah. 
Mayor, you know what happened to the redo the picture? Mayor Police wasn't showing in the picture. Like they were blocking. You're, they were blocking your name on the picture. Can I just say, can I just say it on the record? Go ahead, one more. Thank you for letting me come back up. I got my paperwork. Um, there was a couple other things, such as TV reception. We have a lot of planes coming through, and I have antennas, and I can't watch the TV. It keeps interrupting, even with the antennas. Do they offer any programs for, like, outside? Antennas because of all these planes? Not that I know of. Because sometimes you have like two lanes of planes, one on the south, one on the north side, going through like every half minute. Yeah. It's a very, very busy Go ahead, place. Mr. Bond. I yeah, there, there was a program and it was designed for noise and it was for windows, doors, and, and that type of thing, but that, there was nothing included in that plan relative to uh, antennas and interference, uh, unfortunately. But that program, you had to be in the contour, and I know you're on the same side of Irving Park as I am, we are not in the contour. What, what does that mean, contour? <coughs> it's their flight pattern. That's no. the, what the noise monitor is that they average over 24 hours. Okay. okay. Do you, have, you had another one you said? Um, I noticed the water bill is very high. What happened? I know everything's increased, but it's pretty high. So last year, the city raised the water uh, on the sewer side because we have the treatment plant that we make the mortgage on. It's $1.9 million, is that correct, Mr. Wilson? Yes, $1.9 million a year. And the volume of water from eight years ago to now the usage, because the city actually when you remodel your house, you have to put in water saver faucets, toilets, showers, and everything, washing machines, everything's water saver. I believe it was like 80 million gallons less per year. And that 80 million gallons less per year equates to, I believe it was over 600,000 a year less collected. Unfortunately, we still have to pay for the treatment plant, even though people are conserving. Because I really don't use that much water. I don't water the lawn. I mean, I, I don't understand. and. And I don't shower, but maybe every other day or something, or three days, you know. So, it, it, really, there's not that much water usage. But I'm getting a pretty high bill. Yeah, it's, it's based on consumption. And again, the fixed cost was raised because we do have to make that payment mm -hmm. on the treatment plan. Okay. I noticed too the bill. They changed the format. Okay. And can they make the print bigger? Like you have to I have to use a magnifying glass to the see font? how much I owe. The print is so small you, compared you, to what it used to be. Can you check into that, Mr. Wilson? Okay. So do you think they'll ever have any programs? because of the airport? The airport, honestly, is an ongoing struggle that uh, we deal with. And <coughs> we've asked, we put out flyers, we've done things on, on the website. Please call in, complain. Uh, honestly, almost 80 to 90% of our complaints come from, I believe, seven, maybe seven residents and we might have, at most, I think the highest I've seen in the last six months it, or longer is I about ask, 30 residents calling in. May I ask what their complaints are, the noise or? The noise. How about the reception? You could make those, but it's more about noise on that line. Mm -hmm. They because don't, they have nothing for TV reception. Living in this area, that's 
to be expected. I'm surprised that they didn't go south like the Piatone instead of expanding because that's a heavy burden on the people who live here for uh, the noise. That would have really kind of diverted some of that. But I guess they wanted the money up here. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, next, city manager's report, Mr. Mermis. demonstrate higher levels of tree care and community engagement across five categories, which include activities such as budgeting, training, tree inventories, policies, planting, maintenance, protection, risk, manage risk management, and public outreach. I want to congratulate Public Works staff uh, for their continued hard work and dedication to improving the city's urban campus. Nice job. Thank you. Next. Consent agenda. I'll if no objections, we'll entertain a motion to approve three items. I'll make the motion to approve the three items. Second. Okay, no objections. Roll call. Alderman Sismarski. I'm switching up. Does it say switching up? <laughs> yes. Alderman Sorrentino. Yes. Alderman Messina. Yes. Alderman Woods. Yes. Alderman Ames. Yes. Alderman Jacob. Yes. Alderman Yes. Alderman Kelly. Yes. And that passes now. Need a motion to approve the items on the agenda. Item number one, a resolution approving an agreement between the City of Wooddale and, D and Dom Enterprises Incorporated for the fiscal year 2023-2026 beneficial reuse project in an amount not to exceed $161,850. Item number two, a resolution approving an agreement between the City of Wooddale and RJN Group for professional services for the fiscal year 23 infiltration and inflow project in an amount not to exceed $142,450. Item number three, a resolution approving an agreement between the City of Wooddale and Performance Pipelining Incorporated for the fiscal year 2023 sewer rehabilitation in a not to exceed amount of $889,642. Do I have a motion? I'll make that motion. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call. Alderman Sesnarski? Yes. Alderman Sorrentino? Yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Ames? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Curiel? Yes. Alderman yes. Okay, and that passes. Next, committee chairman reports, planning and zoning, Alderman Woods? No report. Thank you. Public Health, Safety, and Judici Judiciary and Ethics, Alderman Sismarski. No report, Mayor. Thank you. Public Works Committee, Alderman Messina. Yep, two reports, Mayor. Uh, the first is an approval of pay request number four, which is a final payment to benchmark construction for the Ward 2 and 3 Stormwater Improvement Project, Contract D, in the amount of $703,973.21. Is that your motion? That would be my motion. Do I have second. a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion, we have a second. Any questions? Alderman Catalano. Yes, uh, this is directed to the Director Lane. Um, what kind of warranty do we have? Because we, we have an issue uh, in front of 250 Prospect. There's a little dip going down when we did the, uh, the initial construction uh, where all the pipes connect. So what I'm afraid of, that it could cause a sinkhole in the future. Um, could you uh, touch on that? Mr. Lane. Thank you, Mayor. There is a, a five-year uh, warranty provided on this project. And actually the contractor is meeting us out tomorrow to discuss several items, including some landscaping, and we'll have them look at the dip in the street as well. Okay, appreciate it, thank you. Any other questions? Roll call. Alderman Sismarski? Yes. Alderman Sorrentino? Yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Ames? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Carolina? Yes. And that passes. <clears throat> then a resolution approving an intergovernmental agreement between the city of Wooddale and the county of DuPage, Illinois, for the Potter Street <coughs> Retention Basin Retrofit Project. That would be my motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Questions? Roll call. 
Alderman Sosmarski? Yes. Alderman Sorrentino? Yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. Alderman Woods? No. Alderman Yates? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Curielli? No. Alderman Catalano? Yes. And that passes. That concludes my reports, Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Next, Finance and Administration, Alderman Catalano. Yes, I have three, Mayor. First one is uh, a request uh, to approve the purchase of the movie projector as uh, a shared cost of 50% between the City of Wooddale and the Wooddale Park District in the amount not to exceed $2,500. That is my motion. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Questions on this? Alderman Curielli, did you have your hand up? or? No. Oh, I thought I saw your hand up. Okay. All right, roll call, please. Alderman Sosmarski? Yes. Alderman Sorrentino? Yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Ames? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. <laughs> and that passes. <laughs> and then next is uh, an ordinance authorizing the execution of the First Amendment of, to the site agreement between the city and new singular wireless PCS and LLC. That is my motion. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any questions on this? All right, roll call. Alderman Sosmarski? Yes. Alderman Sorrentino? Yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Ames? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. And that passes. And the last is an ordinance adopting the annual budget for the fiscal year end in 2022 through uh, 2023. That is my motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Questions? Roll call. Alderman Sosmarski? Yes. Alderman Sorrentino? Yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Ames? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes, and that's the end of my report, Mayor. Okay, thank you. Under other business, we have nothing this evening. Approval of list of bills, Alderman Catalano. Yes, I'd like to make a, a motion to approve the list of bills of April 7th, 2022 for uh, $1,625,243.04. Is that your motion? That is my motion. Second. Any questions on the bills? <coughs> Roll call, please. Alderman Sismarski? Yes. Alderman Sorrentino? Yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Ames? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. And that passes. We have no executive session, no items to be referred. I need a motion to adjourn. So move. The motion. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We're adjourned.